I'm Connor Reed with words to that effect. A baby girl was born in a hospital in the Philippines on the 30th of October 2011. However, unlike all the other children born that day, the arrival of Danica May Camacho was witnessed by a crowd of photographers and journalists. The world's media were gathered in a hospital in Manila because this little girl was the 7 billionth person on Earth. She'd been chosen by the UN to represent this significant moment in human history. A baby had similarly been chosen as the 5 billionth person in 1987, and the 6 billionth just 12 years later in 1999. Our population is growing, fast. There are now 7.6 billion people on Earth, and the UN projects that this will be 8.6 by 2030, and nearly 10 billion by 2050. At that point, Nigeria will have a population bigger than the US. It'll be the third most populous country, after India and then China. A lot of these future growth predictions are highly contested, and it's notoriously difficult to predict how populations might change and develop. But that doesn't mean it's something we should ignore. The UN uses media campaigns like the 7th billionth baby to raise awareness about issues like women's rights, sex education, reproductive health and other important concerns. But discussing an issue like overpopulation can be difficult at best and at worst utterly disturbing. It's a topic that can move worryingly quickly from agriculture, eradicating disease or education to female infanticide, enforced sterilisation projects, racism and ethnic cleansing. Even the word itself, overpopulation, is not without problems. I have issues with it when it's applied to the globe. You know, when you say there's overpopulation, full stop. Um, so if you, if you say that there, there is overpopulation on planet Earth, uh, you're saying that there are too many people on planet Earth. Does that logically then follow that some of the people who are already here shouldn't be here? You've been listening to the latest episode of Words to That Effect. Thanks for listening, and I hope you want to hear the rest. You can get this episode on Apple Podcasts, on Stitcher, Google Play, or wherever you normally get your podcasts. Or you can go to the Words to That Effect website, which is wttepodcast.com. Thanks very much.